Hi! Today's vlog topic is why Young Living. You know that YL and the sign YL means Young Living, right? You don't? <laughs> Please go check out my first vlog. It'll explain some more. So in that first vlog, I did tell you all that the company I prefer is Young Living. So today I want to explain why I prefer Young Living. But before I explain it, I want to explain a little bit about my background. About seven years ago, I got married and then I got sick. And it wasn't like I had to go to the hospital all the time kind of sick, but I struggled with pain. I was struggling to eat. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't all night I would toss and turn. Just not normal things for a 23 year old. So I was going to all of these doctors. I was seeing specialists. I was seeing my regular doctors trying to figure out what was going on and get some answers, but I wasn't getting any answers. So I started doing some research myself, trying to understand why I was hurting, why I couldn't eat. And then I would ask other doctors, I would find another specialist. It was a repetitive process over three years. And then after about that three years, I started getting some answers. I have a nerve problem. My body is really sensitive to pain. So I tend to hurt pretty much all the time. But my doctors were able to give me some answers and we started finding out that I also have food allergies that were aggravating the nerve condition, making the pain worse. So I started doing more research and that experience with research and doctors, it taught me that I really needed to research and to understand my body. I needed to be careful about what I was using, what I was eating, um, how the things were influencing me. I needed to be really careful. So I continued to do some research and started eliminating some food. Peanuts are the big one. I can't eat peanuts. Um, there's some other things that I can't eat. So through that struggle, I noticed that I had friends who were kind of having similar struggles. They weren't feeling well or their children were hurting and struggling. So I'm watching all of my friends and many of them started using the words young living essential oils. And that got me real curious. Y-L-E-O? I just kept seeing Y-L-E-O, Young Living Essential Oils, Y-L-E-O. All of these friends started using these words and acronyms. So I started to research a little bit about those words and I became interested. So I contacted a friend who posted all the time. She talked about the oils all the time, posting on Facebook, making comments. And I just got really fascinated. So I asked her to explain it to me and I'd ask her all of these questions and she would answer them. She'd send me resources, um, give me websites, just send me all these different things. And I would read them and read them and I'd want more and more and more. And I was just amazed at what the oils could do. They can do so many things. But one of the coolest things I found out were that the oils are all the way connected into the Bible. I was like, what? The oils are in the Bible? Well, duh, I should have known that. Baby Jesus. The first gifts were frankincense and myrrh and gold. I grew up with these stories. I grew up hearing about the gifts. I just never understood what it meant. I was like, oh, yay, cool, okay, whatever. But now that I was doing my research, I learned that the frankincense and the myrrh were like medicine and many other things a long time ago. They used it for anointing. They used it if people didn't feel well. And so that really got me thinking. I was amazed. 
I wanted to learn more. And did you know that in the Bible, do you know how many times it's mentioned in the Bible? 1,031. 1,031 mentions of essential oils in the Bible. That is amazing. So I, I really wanted to learn more. So I started researching even more and I started researching companies and I started researching and living. I got really curious. That company was set up in 1994 and that's impressive because I was a kid in 1994. So they've been around for a long time and I started researching more and I found that they are the top inventor developers in that field and that they continue to develop and invent things connected with essential oils to do things better. I thought that was really interesting. So I continue to research more about Young Living and that company believes in God, they're Christian. And that company isn't focused on just making all of this money. Young Living wants to give back. They want to help people. They want to support people. And the more I understood about Young Living themselves, they care for people. They love people. So it seemed like it was a really good company. But I wanted to know more. They're the top inventor But how do you prove that their oils are good? So Young Living themselves, they own their farms. And that is really important. And I'm going to tell you why. Where do you buy your food from? Especially your fruits and your vegetables. Where do you buy them from? Do you get them from Target? Do you get them from Walmart? Because I go and I look at the fruit and vegetables at Target and Walmart, and they're not usually really good. So maybe you go to the grocery store, like Giant or Publix or Harris Teeter. Well, I go and look there too. Sometimes they're good. Sometimes they're, they know where it's from, and sometimes they don't know where it's from. So do you buy yours at the farmer's market? I try to go to the farmer's market. I go and I look around at the farmer's market, the Saturday ones, and I am amazed. The fruits and vegetables, they just look so good. I always want to eat it right then. So where's the best place to buy your fruits and vegetables? Straight from the farmer themselves. And Young Living, they're farmers themselves. The company owns their own farms. They have many farms. And if Young Living can't own a farm because of a particular area, they will partnership with the farmers and engage and be in contact with them continuously. They're not like, oh, yeah, okay, you're good. We'll we'll buy from you. No, Young Living finds value in communication. They are in constant contact with their partner farmers too. So Young Living owns their farms and they're willing to partner that, that's pretty cool. I can buy the oil straight from the farmer themselves. I like that. But the more I researched, I found more. Do the Young Living Farms use chemicals? No, they don't. They use the oils for bug control and for the weeds, they do everything by hand. And there's even more. I can go to the farms. It's true, I can go and travel to Utah and to some of the other countries where the farms are. If I am able to, I can even go and fly to the farms and help with the harvest. How amazing is that? They don't block people out. Young Living permits me to go. I'm not an important person. I'm just me. I'm Carrie. I'm a nobody. But Young Living permits me to go to their farms. How interesting is that? It just, it amazes me. They are open. They are honest. 
wow. It just, I can't, I can't. It's so cool. And I kept learning more. Young Living owns their farms. They partner with the other farmers. They'll let me go to the farms. But Young Living also has this amazing promise. And this promise is called the Seed to Seal Promise. Do you know what that means? Have you heard of it? Seed to Seal is everything in this little bottle. They can trace it back to the seed that it grew from. It's not a random process. No, they can track it all the way back to its seed, to when it was a little tiny plant and it was growing. They can tell me the weather. They can tell me if there were anything weird that happened. They can tell me who did the testing. They can tell me so many scientific things related to my bottle. Not Janie's bottle, not another person's bottle, my bottle. What is that? Seed to seal promise. That, just amazing. That seed to seal promise is what convinced me. I have bought Young Living. I have decided that I am going to continue with Young Living because I trust them. I know what is in this bottle. I know it is 100% of what it says. I know that they didn't test it once or twice. They tested it at several times. And Young Living didn't just test it by itself. They send the oils out to another company that isn't connected to Young Living. A third party company tests the oils. That is pretty awesome. That is open, honest business. Young Living loves people. They care for people. And they take care of people with pure products. And the very last reason I young I love Young Living, and I will stay with Young Living, is all of their products. So many things that I used every day, and I didn't know where they were from. I didn't know what was in them. I didn't know if it was safe to use, but Young Living has the same kinds of products. Shampoo, body wash, toothpaste. So many different things. Oh, and the toothpaste. Oh, the toothpaste. I hate brushing my teeth. Do you like it? Because I hate it. I hate it. Growing up, it just, it was a struggle for me. Going to the dentist, I had all of these dental problems. I just hate brushing my teeth. I just hate it. But now with the Thieves Toothpaste, it helps me. It encourages me to do what I need to be doing to stay healthy. And their floss, do you like to floss? Because I, uh, no, I, I floss and I bleed. I floss and I bleed. I just, ugh. But now with this, I know what's in it. I know what it's made from, and my body is happy. When I use the floss, I find that I don't bleed anymore. I find that Young Living, the oils, they just, everything, it's amazing. But Young Living loves me so much that they also have these other products that help me with my everyday life. I clean, do you think I clean with Windex or with uh, bleach? Because I don't. I use thieves. I use things, oil products from Young Living. I am slowly changing my everyday routine, my everyday things all to Young Living because that is incredibly important to me 
to know what I'm putting in my body, what I'm exposing myself to. That's very important for me. So those are a few of the reasons why I love Young Living. Um, The next vlog topic is going to be how you can order Young Living. I hope you liked my uh, vlog today. And please leave me some comments. Give me some feedback. Let me know if you're interested. Um, And if you look below, you'll find my member number. And my member number will help you order and if you want some help just contact me and I will help you